Good Friday to me just reminds me how much Jesus loved us and what he did for us. Uh, he saved us and it, it's really cool to me how the speakers all connect back and show how Jesus has been working through their lives using his love and his grace. Uh, what Good Friday means to me is just the remembrance of Jesus Christ uh, being crucified and dying for our sins. Um, Good Friday just kind of symbolizes the, the sacrifice that Jesus made for us and the freedom that we can feel um, through his sacrifice. Good Friday is just the day where we truly see Jesus' sacrifice and Jesus' love for us, that he died so that we could have freedom and that we could have life, and I just think that's pretty amazing. Good Friday for me means that uh, a kid like me doesn't really have to worry for the future because Jesus put himself on the cross and um, sacrificed himself for me and everybody else. My grandpa is a pastor, so we usually go out of town, and you know, every Good Friday he gives a sermon, and it's just good to see family and it's that love and that community in his church is just something that reminds me of Good Friday, and it's good memories. Hi, my name is Valdo Horton, and I am a senior at Waterloo West. Welcome to tonight's student-led Good Friday service. Tonight you will hear from 14 students talk about how Jesus' last seven words on the cross has impacted their lives. You will also see art inspired by these words as well as listen to music sung by students all in honor of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. My story begins in Rockford, Illinois. I had been taken to church by my grandma at a young age, but being so young, I didn't really know what I was doing. After my grandma passed away, we moved to Waterloo, Iowa. We had to stay in a homeless shelter for a few months because we didn't have a place to stay. At that time, I was attending church on occasion, but I still didn't understand who Jesus was and what he had did for me. Fast forward to 2013 at Wildwood Hills Ranch. This was my fourth year attending the summer camp. It was there that I experienced Jesus for the first time. I was asked to lead worship on the last night of camp. Music has always been one of my passions, but I had never thought about leading worship. As soon as everyone started singing along, I had this feeling of peace and joy wash over me. I closed my eyes and the words worship leader were written across my eyelids. I knew that I wanted to get involved in the worship band as soon as I could. I quickly got an audition with Tim Walston at Orchard Hill Church. Through the entire audition set, I could feel God's presence and knew he had a part in everything that was happening. I felt that peace and joy again wash over me. Summer 2014, I got the opportunity to go on caravan to Colorado. I didn't think that I would be able to go, but I found out that someone had paid for my trip. I was ecstatic and scared at the same time. I didn't know anyone that was going on the trip, and I didn't know if people would accept me for who I was. It turns out I didn't have anything to worry about. Everyone there were very accepting and non-judgmental. I walked away from this trip with long-lasting relationships. One of the last nights, the speaker was asking if anyone would like to accept Jesus into their life for the first time. It was like every word he said was exactly how I was feeling at that time. He asked if there was anyone who would like to accept Jesus to stand up. It was like a fire had been lit under my seat. I jumped up and tears started streaming down my face. Right then, I realized what I was doing and what this meant for my life. After the trip, I knew I wanted to get baptized. So on August 17th, 2014, I found myself standing in a pool getting baptized. I wanted to do this to get closer to God and to take the next step. Coming up from under the water, I just felt free, free from the burden that sat on my heart. This day marked the beginning of my walk with Christ. Another cool thing about the day was when my niece, nephew, and older sister decided to get baptized as well. It hadn't been planned, which made it even better. God used me getting baptized to touch their hearts as well. God has given me the gift and the passion to lead worship and to help others worship Him. Before I didn't know who Christ was or what the name even meant, but now I know, and leading others in worship is what I have been called to do. God made it crystal clear to me that this was going to be my next step in the journey He has already set for me. So now I ask you to rise and sing songs of worship to Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins. 